welcome to another video from Rambling Geek. Today I'm trying a little bit something different, a bit more of me. Um, yes, I'm still on the green screen, it's behind me. Um, it's not perfect, need more lights, but hey ho, such is life. Okay, so today's video is going to be about applying a uh, certificate to a Draytech Vigor router. Um, the particular model of router is a 2860. Um, there are instructions on the internet for this. Um, and if I just Google this with you, just for fun, um, and what I'll do is switch out to the full screen and just very quickly Google this with you. So if you if you Google, um, let's zoom in for you guys. Um, Draytech install SSL. You will get um, all kinds of stuff. You'll get this. This is the one. I look at that, um, and it goes through. Now, these instructions are for um, particularly um, when you are doing it for the first time and you generate it and you're using a, a, CA, a CA of some sort. Incidentally, you don't want to use the CA cert. It's bad, not trusted by anyone. Yeah, you don't want to go there. So um, I wanted to use Let's Encrypt. Who wouldn't? So um, hopefully not giving it anything away here uh, security wise I'm going to try and show you this so as you can see I've got my wildcard installed um, it is installed it is working if you have a quick look there I have to do that quick um, apparently we've lost our zoom let's zoom in a little bit here there we go whoa that was a bit too much let's zoom out a little bit there you go and you've here we go okay so to do this what I did is I clicked import and then I needed the certificate I got this um, from Windows Server which is where my certificate is installed from let's encrypt um, I'm using something called certify to do that with Windows currently um, I believe that the PowerShell uh, script for wildcard support is now ready I've yet to try it or test it. That's something on my to-do list. Um, so anyway, I got the certificate exported as a PFX with the private key. Um, and then you browse, you upload it, you type it in. Once you've done that, in your local certificate store on the router, when this reloads, there you go, uh, we get the Cryptos. Uh, the last step that you have to do um, is you have to go into here and this will be set to self-signed. You want to drop it down to wildcard. At that point, OK, log off, log back in, and your SSL will be working. That's my experience, and that's with Let's Encrypt. Hopefully, um, I've done it right. It looks like it's working. I've done this video purely for selfish reasons. I have done this once before. The certificate expired. I've come to renew it, and I couldn't remember how to do it. And I'm ashamed to say I've spent far too long on it this afternoon trying to work out why the hell I couldn't get it to uh, work again. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you do like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like this video, thumbs down. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I post, hit the bell icon. Until next time, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.